is the oldest institution in the world. Marriage was performed first and instituted in the Garden of Eden. A woman is entrusted with certain characters that she must not defile. A woman is trusted in that. There's not a creature on earth like a woman. There's no female dog. There's no female of any kind entrusted with the character that a woman is. A woman was not even in the, the beginning of the creation. Because God knew that she saw all other females could not commit adultery. She's the only one that can commit adultery. If she'd been made like the original, that would be just complimentary to God's great wisdom. See, she was made a byproduct of a man. But because she was passed over in that side, she has also been given a sacred charge from God for redemption. She's got characters that she must not defile. If she would mire them, she's defiled for lifetime. No matter how much she's forgiven, she can't be justified. I'll strike that in a little bit. Got a scripture on that. She can be forgiven for her defilement, but she cannot be justified in this life. It's always with her. Notice. Now, she's been given this. She may be forgiven, but not justified. Her body is given to her a sacred trust from God. No female dog, no bird, no other animal, no other creature like that. Oh, she's the only one. By it, she is the reason it's so sacred. She is to bring forth life into the earth. Her body is the bedding ground of life. Therefore, that's the reason she's given this sacred trust. I want to name three things here that she must not get away from. She has a sacred trust of virtue committed to her by her Lord. A certain virtue. Nothing else holds it but a woman. Right. That's committed to her by God. She must not defile that virtue. If she even does something wrong, she must confess that to her husband before she takes her. And make it right the same as the church that was married to the law has to come also before Christ, before the second marriage. She has to confess that if she doesn't and she lives with her husband for 10 years and then confess that he has a right to put her away and marry another woman. That's the scripture. Fornication is unclean living. Notice, now, she has a sacred trust of virtue that's been given her, trusted to her by the law. God gave her that virtue. Just as it was in the Garden of Eden, she say yes or no. She has a sacred trust of womanhood committed to her that she must not break. The womanhood I'm speaking of here is her conduct, her character around man. Not letting every man looks on these screens and see these movie stars kissing and hugging and slopping around all these women. A woman does that is of a bad character. She might be virtuous otherwise, but see in her heart. When those glands, sex glands are in the lips, a man kisses a woman, he's actually potentially committed adultery. Sex glands are in the woman's lips and a man's lips. He could kiss her on the hand and would mix it. The sex glands, but the sex glands is in the lips. You see all this nonsense in the, the uh, Hollywood today of all this flopping and loving around with women and so forth and little girls look at all that. No wonder our morals are rotten and mean and filthy. Because it's put before the children. Right, it has to be that way for the last day. 